Mm, good God, morning, Facebook, YouTubers, and folks coming in on the replay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for being here. We are grateful, are we not? Yes, gratitude is our attitude. <laughs> or as they say, we have to walk in an attitude of gratitude. I am Rosa J. doing it God's day each and every day. And I am grateful, grateful to wake up, grateful to be able to pray, pray, grateful to be able to meditate, and grateful to share this out with you. So we are on day six of, let me put my glasses on because I can really see better with my glasses. Day six of the 21 day journey making every moment matter with Deepak Chopra and Oprah Winfrey right yes and today's meditation is about the benefits of present moment awareness yeah being in the present right now moment for that's all you have everything else excuse me the past is gone and the present and the future is not yet here but being in that right now moment ida scott taylor says oh excuse me ida scott taylor mckinney says live in the present and make it so beautiful that it will be worth remembering. And that sound good. Live in the present and make it so beautiful that it's worth remembering. And we do, don't we? We hope. Living in the present moment isn't just good advice. It is important to recognize that the present is the only place that living really happens. We cannot have creative and inspired thoughts if our mind is held back by guilt, regret, and the pain from the past. We are not going to be open to the possibilities and the beauty around us if we are so anxious and fearful of the future. Today's meditation shows us that the benefit of present moment awareness is in living life fully with creative joy, love, and fulfillment. Amen. Ashe. And so it is. Yes, I agree. So today's day six benefits of present moment awareness. The centering thought for today is I am present to receive the gifts of life. The mantra, the Sanskrit mantra, Um Sharim. It means I invoke the architect type of beauty, gratitude, and generosity. I invoke the architect type of beauty, gratitude, and generosity. So let's plant our feet firmly on the ground, on the floor, sit up straight, and begin focusing on our breathing. Relax, scan your body, make sure every part of your body is untense. Yes. As you breathe, focus on your third eye. Relax, move down to your neck, yes, your voice, your shoulders, where we carry those burdens of life, relax, your heart, where we open up for the pleasantry and the seeing of God, yes, your chest, yes, your solar breath. Flex, that's it's called. 
your creative section where your genitals are. Mm. Your thighs, are they relaxed? Your legs, are they relaxed? Are your feet planted and your palms open? Yes. And let's begin. Playfully at work today, yes, technology. Let me cut it up some. Today is day six, where we will discuss the benefits of living fully in the present moment. I want to share a story with you that brings clarity to how mindfulness works. Shonda Rhimes is certainly one of the busiest and most powerful people in Hollywood today. And as the writer and creator of hit shows like Grey's Anatomy and Scandal and How to Get Away with Murder, it is a wonder she finds any time to leave her keyboard. Shonda is also a mother to three beautiful daughters. And she told me she was proud that her daughters with their mother's name on it called Shondaland but striking a balance between prolific producer and motherhood has not been easy. Until one day, her daughter, who was two years old at the time, asked Shonda, mommy, will you play with me? And rather than telling her that she had to go to work or go to a meeting, Shonda decided in that moment to say yes. She played and made a decision that any time her daughter asked her to play, she would stop and give her the time. It was a 10 minute commitment that Shonda says changed everything, her relationship with her daughter and how she felt about being a mother. I believe it's possible for everyone to find 10 minutes in their day to hit pause. Yeah. A wonderful scholar named John Kabat-Zinn once taught me a great lesson in staying present with what matters most. He said, if you miss the look in your child's eye one day, you've missed it. If you miss the look in your lover's eyes the next day, you've missed that. If you miss the beauty of sitting under the trees, you've missed that too. If you add that up over many moments and then many days and years, you may wind up missing the most beautiful aspects of your own life. He finished by saying, who tells oneself they don't have any time when really all you've got is time? All you've got is this moment. I agree. And so now my prayer for myself is not to let any moment pass without my acknowledgement and full experience of it. For me, that's the essence of living a fully awakened life. Deepak, will talk to us now and then we'll meditate. Yes. Hi, Manetti. Thank you for joining us. We've all heard about the virtue of living in the present. But typically, we don't grasp what that means. First, we don't notice that we aren't present. We are either in the past or future. How often do you tune someone out and have to ask them to repeat themselves? Can you accurately say how much of your day you spent in emotions that pull you out of the here and now? These include anger, worry, regret, anxiety, and self-blame. The present moment is the only place where creativity and inspiration arise. You must be present to give and receive love, to feel appreciation and gratitude. These opportunities are lost because people don't realize they're not living in the present moment. The second issue is how to get back into the here and now. If you notice that someone has tuned out, you might say, Let's talk when you aren't somewhere else. But the same thing applies to you 
when you're angry, upset, complaining, worrying, or gossiping. You are somewhere else without it. You can find a way to be here now. You will get back in touch with a level of awareness that is centered, peaceful, alert, and self-aware. That's why the world's wisdom traditions call the present moment the eternal now. You can't force the mind to be present because mental effort is only a string of passing thoughts. Willpower, focus, and good intentions cannot bring you present moment awareness. When you catch yourself being somewhere else, there are simple measures that can bring you back into the present. A few deep breaths or centering your attention in the middle of your chest, in the heart region. To be here and now, you have to feel that you're present in your body, which is what deep breathing and heart-centered attention can do. If you only realize it, you are already fully present. Ask yourself, who is it that is listening to the words that you're hearing right now? Present awareness is listening. It's that simple. Meditation opens the way to experience present awareness without outside distractions. Meditation also takes us outside the ego and its constant need for attention. When present moment awareness has no demands upon it, you experience how natural it is. As our meditation practice grows, it becomes just as natural and easy to be present in daily activity. Only when you feel perfectly peaceful and at home in yourself does the present moment begin to unfold as the source of lasting fulfillment, a state of awareness where you need nothing outside yourself. The here and now is enough. As we prepare to meditate together, let's take a moment to consider our centering thought. I am present to receive the gifts. I am present to receive the gifts of life. I am present to receive the gifts of life. I am present to receive the gifts. Now let's of prepare life. for our meditation. Make yourself comfortable and close your eyes. Begin to be aware of your breath and just breathe slowly and deeply. With each breath, allow yourself to become more deeply relaxed. Now, gently introduce the mantra Om Shreem. Om Shreem. This mantra helps to open our individuality so that our heart, mind and spirit can more fully receive the gifts of our present moment awareness. Repeat it silently to yourself. Om Shri. Om Shri. Om Shri. With each repetition, feel your body, mind, and spirit open into an expanded state of awareness. Wherever you are affected by thoughts, noises, or physical sensations, simply return your attention to silently repeating the mantra. Om Shri. Om Shri. Om Shri. Please continue with your meditation. I'll mind the time and you'll hear a soft bell of the meditation. Om Shri. Om Shri. Om Shri. Om 
I find it helpful to look at the back of my eyelids and visualize what I see as I say, Om Shri. Giving the mind something to Om Shri. You may see colors, you may see lights shining. Some may see pictures being present in the music. Everyone sees different. Make sure your legs are full. Oh, Christ.
to release the mantra. Continue to sit restfully, inhaling and exhaling slowly. When you feel ready, gently open your eyes. As you continue with your day, contemplate the centering thought. I am present to receive the gifts of life. I am present to receive I am the present gifts of to life. receive the gifts of life. 
I am present to receive the gifts of no my mind. faith. I hope that was a pleasant experience for you. I hope you think about what did you see when you closed your eyes? Where did you go? Did you go walking in clouds? Did you feel at peace? When I close my eyes and I look and focus on the backs of my eyelids, it tends to tune out my present place and takes me to a place much pleasant. You know, today I was walking in clouds and white and blue colors were all around. And every day is different for me. Every day is different for everyone. But we must become aware of that which we are seeing, right? I don't know who this is um, on the uh, conference line, but thank you for joining us. Matriarch International. I love it. I love being, ha, ha, being in a space of community in meditation makes me stronger. And I pray that it makes everyone else as strong in their commitment to take a time out to meditate. It may not be, but during the course of the day, it only takes um, a minute, really. It doesn't have to be an hour, 30 minutes or 20 minutes, just a second of silence. So I want to say thank you very much for joining. If anyone wants to speak up or Facebook, you want to write down something, I'll read it. I am grateful. If not, you can always come back to the meditation from Facebook. Meditate to your levitate group. Um, I will approve you. Or you can always come back to the phone line. And the number is basically the same. 712-770-4169. And the pin is the same, 8525-58. So if there's nothing, oh, you know, oh, so if there's nothing else to be said, I'll see you in the morning. I am Rosa T. I am present to receive the gift of the day. Oh, is this? Otto. It is. Hi. Hi, Otto. It is. I am grateful to have you on the line. We must talk. Thank you for joining us. I like that. I like the title oh, that comes in. Matriarch International. That's your business. Yes, it is. Oh, grateful. Grateful. Ah, it's good to have you. I request the one who's there for that. Say what? I request your presence and prayers and love for the, for the presence of that company. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right, now. So it's time for to get on the uh, love journey. Ashe. Ashe, so we shall see you there. Be blessed. Have a good God day, and I'll talk to you later. Oh, I don't, I'm going to call you. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> so, Facebook, let me get off of the uh, conference line, and I shall. See you, Manetti. It is so good to have you. I love you, girl. I love you. My prayers go out for you. Share this out. I will share this with you. Love, Jane. Have a good God day. Know that there's nothing that will ever change that experience that I share with you.
the love of you. Namaste. <laughs> it is so funny. I never can find the little 